you want to come and look at the house again or not? How about you? has reportedly been seen taking advice from respected locker room veteran Mustafa Ali. Let's see if it pays off. Respected, yes, but some of his previous leadership ventures didn't end well. I'd be wary of that happening again. Looks like Mustafa Ali has oh, more than yes, just advice to offer the lock. Didn't yeah. expect this, but a little distraction can certainly make sure a match goes your way. into the ring. Punch connects. Oh, God! Oh, that didn't go as locked design. Look out! Oh. Punch across the cheek. Corbin trying to spread his happiness to everybody. Come on, Cole. Hop on the bandwagon. Saxton, go lay in front of the wagon. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. Bones line! Just ruthless. Look, the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Here it comes. Looking for a choke slam. Dodges out of the way. A bad place to be for the challenger. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Shifts it back onto him. Power slam. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. He wasted no time kicking out there. It's unthinkable. Someone beating the one count at this point? Not the position you want to be in right now. Straight up right down the floor. I don't think Corbin's thinking of a choke right now. Close line! What impact! Shake it off and do whatever you need to do. Thanks. Oh, 
Let Corbin keep talking. Just focus on you. Little hard to focus on me when I've got glory hogs crashing my matches to piggyback on my momentum. You realize I bailed you out in that match, right? You could have lost your title if I hadn't. I was fine. And I'd be even better if you stopped using me to get yourself over. Wow. You want to hear some real talk? I saw myself in you when I watched your debut, but you and I are in different leagues. <laughs> I'm the Intercontinental Champ. What do you have to show for yourself? For now, I've won more matches here than you've ever even seen. Never fought me, though. Have you? No, I haven't. You man enough to change? Or would you rather just stand here and air out all of your paranoid fears? <laughs> You're on. Only thing I'm afraid of is embarrassing you so much you start hiding behind a neon mask again. In that case, why don't you put your intercontinental title on the line too? I thought you said it's more important to send a message than win a title. Every once in a while it's possible to do both and put an overconfident rookie in his place. Rookie, huh? <laughs> I'll see you in the ring for my title. Hope the moment's not too big for you. Yeah. 
Freunde. Komm um mich. That's right, Byron. The short-lived allies will settle their differences in the ring here tonight with the Locks Intercontinental Championship on the line. Champion or not, it seems to me like the rookie still has a lot to learn about respecting his elders. Easy now. And some effective offense with that one. Kick to the back. Some damage. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Prepare your face for that. Now that'll do some serious damage. Yeah. Oh, costly error there. No. He's going for it all. From way up, double axe handle cats. Covered by the champ. And he easily stops the ref's count. Could be in search of a second win now. Caught with the boot. Ooh. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. Oh, man. Into the ring again. <laughs> Kick to the gun. Oh, brutal form. The challenger is in some big trouble. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Guys, we know that if Ali's heart is beating, he has a chance to turn this thing around. Oh, Ali got out of the way. Right what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. He's got him scouted. Elbow smash. Suplex, but that's not all. With a championship on the line. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking the count. Oh my, what a splash! Big splash. The lock is focused on finishing this. Sequence of moves from Ali, but the lock is 
just one move from turning this around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Taking this one back to the ring now. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. The fairy tale's almost over. Ali's in trouble. No way. Astounding power. And the days. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Man. Pin stopped by rope break. That's actually bad. Damage must be mounting on the torso to this point. Every hit more detrimental than the last. And now he rolls out looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running away. Kick to the gut. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. To their legacy. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Superstar. This kind of win establishes him to the world. An important win for him in this one. Ali's flight plan just got altered tonight with that loss. He'll rebound, don't worry. You take what you Welcome to Raw. Gotta say, I've been a fan of your work for a while. Can't say the same for Drew Gulag, though. Happy Corbin has been mouthing off about his football career more than usual lately. Saying the W... Hey, champ. I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations. But now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Champion. A live event? Let me finish. Wasn't that? Nothing gets by you. I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want to main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I'm confident I can sell out the event on my own. No need to announce an opponent. The WWE Universe will pay to see me beat anyone. Bold decision. I guess we'll find out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. 
Or at least I hope so. I should mend. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the WWE Intercontinental. Here he 
is your winner and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Superstar. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought I could sell out the show on my own, but maybe I got overconfident and bought into all this lock hype. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? Smackdown. I wanna I wanna move to SmackDown. I wanna get off the roll. Well, well. If it isn't the Intercontinental Champion, I remember losing my... your memory in your old age, huh? So <laughs> wow. Enlighten me. To be a true Intercontinental Champion requires a truly Intercontinental skill set with mastery of styles. And from... your Intercontinental specialty is British? No, no, no. I am the great. <laughs> Are you sure about that? My wife is French, so I'd know. But enough spelling talk. Let me show you what the Intercontinental Championship is all about. In the ring, for your title, what do you... How do the French say hard pass? Hard pause? It, that's enough. Oh, you are... I'm just gonna stay with Sean. Sean. You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off screen and on. Just like you, I was strong willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the clique and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I'm 
I promise, if I get the opportunity to headline again, I'll do everything in my power to make sure it's standing room only. Sure, whatever. But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, Still what?